afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are at 9 Deanwood Circle here in Biltmore Village. Wonderful 1959 two bedroom, two bath home, close to 1,400 square feet in size. Don't let the two bedrooms scare you off. There's an additional living room area behind the main living room. Could be converted into another bedroom. You're looking at city, water and sewer here, so there's absolutely no issue with being able to add that on. And downstairs is an additional 300 plus square feet of living space. Now there's one point that is 6.2 inches. I can fit underneath it, but there's one point, so that rules it out as being counted as living space. The rest, the 99.5% rest of the space down there is 6 feet 8 inches. Just 2 inches, I'm sorry, 4 inches shy of being at 7 feet to be counted as living space. But is it a phenomenal family room? This house in 2010 had about $30,000 worth of improvements made to it according to the original listing that I was able to find. My homeowner purchased it then. <clears throat> he then went through, did some work on the hardwood floors. He installed a new heating and air conditioning system in the house. Before that, the home did not have central heat and air. And in 2012 or 13, uh, replaced the carpet that was downstairs in the basement and had brought in ceramic wood-looking tile downstairs. Just a phenomenal space. There's a refrigerator down there, fireplace too. Uh, just a great home. The floors were updated in 2010. They could probably use another coat of, of finish on them now. The home is in great shape. A lot of the fixtures have been improved. The kitchen has been updated. It's just a great house. We're probably two minutes from downtown Biltmore Village. Enough of me talking. Let's step around to the side. I want to show you an area there, and then we'll take a look inside. I wanted to step out back. Show you a great place for dogs, by the way. I want to show you the backyard. In probably 2012 or 13, there was major flooding in Biltmore Village. Um, this this area had just a ton of water all at once. You probably saw something on the news. We're much higher than Biltmore Village but there was some water that leaked into the basement. So I want to take a moment and explain that. This yard slopes down, as you can see, I'm probably at the lowest elevation. And then over to my left over here, there's a drain that the county had installed, um, which is a large drain. But what happened was the debris was such that it built up over that drain and, and clogged the drain. There's been steps taken now to help prevent that, and this was just a major, major amount of water at the time. When that happened, the water backed up to the stairwell that leads downstairs, and that's how the water got in. Since that time, that's been uh, fitted to work better. Um, these planters are here in place just as another step, and the people that are renting love the fact that they could have a small garden area with raised beds, so that's why that's here. The cement wall has been sealed, so there's no leakage that could take place from the exterior. And then there's a sump pump down there as well. The floor was once carpeted, and they have ceramic tile down there. So, so many steps have been taken, but I just wanted to take a moment to explain how this worked. And again, this was a, it was a hundred year flood thing, but, uh, but it was just a massive, massive amount of rain. Since then, it hasn't been an issue at all. Let's go ahead, take a look inside, and then we'll meet back outside.
Well, I hope you enjoyed 9 Deanwood Circle here today. I didn't mention it, it also has natural gas as well. Just a phenomenal home, quiet neighborhood, right off from Hendersonville Road, just quick to any place that you want to be. If I can help you or your realtor, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you so much.